In this tutorial, we will try to understand the key difference between include and import in Ansible. In my opinion, this is one of the most confusing topic in Ansible. Now, let's try to understand this with some practical examples. This is going to have two videos. In the first video, we will take a look into all these differences. And in the second video, we will look into another four differences. Personally, I prefer using include than import because in most of my use cases i have to run a particular task file in loop or apply when condition just once within the include so now let's get started with the difference in case of include tasks are executed dynamically during the playbook execution and in case of import tasks are pre-processed statically at the time of playbook parsing the main difference between include and import is include is dynamic and import is static include will be running the task in runtime import will be pre-processing the task during the playbook parsing and loop is supported in include if we use include we can run the task in a loop but in case of import loop is not supported and when condition gets applied only to the include task itself that means it will get applied only once in the include task it will not apply to the child task in case of include but if we give when condition in the import it will get applied to the child task now let's take a look into the documentation so this is the official documentation on dynamic versus static here we can see type of reuse is dynamic for include and static for import and include is processed at runtime and import is processed during playbook parsing this will be pre-processed during playbook parsing first we'll see this with an example i'll open vs code i'll be using this playbook for the demo here i'm running this against localhost and here i'm using a module called pos so here we'll be prompting user to enter username and password for the password i have given echo false so that it won't print the password user is entering and then i am setting the fact from these inputs i am taking the user input for example in the prompt if user is giving username as admin here i am setting the fact new user as the user input and in same way i am storing even the password after that we'll be running include or import task and Within the include task, let me just use this particular file user conf.yaml. Here also I'll change the file name. And I'll open this file. Here also we have some simple task this is just printing a configuration command so this is using these two variables which are getting passed from the user input first we'll just try running this using include task we'll give ansible playbook and directory is 20 file is 01 and this is prompting for entering username i'll give admin i'll give this code one two three so here we can see the message now we are using include task and if you open this here this is just printing a message we have only two debug tasks here username and it is adding the user input admin and privilege 15 it is just printing the password which i have entered and second task it is just printing this now here if you notice you can see we have one additional task when i am using include task and include task is dynamic and this will be executing during the runtime 
now i'll try changing this to import task save it i will increase verbosity i'll give hyphen vv and if you notice here you'll be able to see the message it is statically importing this particular file so before even running the task it is processing the imported file and i'll give username and i'll give a password and here also this is getting executed but if you compare this output with our previous output here after the set fact we had a task include task here we don't have that include task so it is directly executing so before even running the task it is loading the file from import task i'll change this to import we were able to see this statically imported file details now to prove that this is pre processing the task what we can do within this particular task we will give an invalid module and now we are running import task now i'll try running the playbook so before even starting the task it is failing but here if you run include task this is prompting for the message so this is trying to execute all these tasks and when it comes to here loading the file it will fail so i'll give a username you can see here this is failing in this particular task so it is processing till here but if you use import task this is even trying to load while parsing the playbook and failing the task this proves that this is pre-processing the task and we'll check next option variables can be passed using wars so what we'll do here we will try to pass a variable here wars and we'll call this v equal to one and here also we'll set a fact set fact v and here also we'll set the value 0 and in this particular file i will add a debug print v and the message i'll add v so within the include task we are passing the variable now let us try running this so here still i haven't corrected this error i'll change this now we'll try running again you can see the value one here because it is taking variable precedence for this value now if you don't pass this it is taking zero now we'll try same in the import task i will comment it save it you 
here we can see this is taking higher precedence than this value now we'll see how to use when condition so i'll comment this and first i'll apply when condition here here i'll put a when condition for this task i'll say when v equal to 0 then only execute the task save it and here i'll change the variable in case of include task this when condition will get applied only to this task it won't check inside this task so here i'll set the variable i'll copy this task here i'll change the variable to one save it now we'll try running the playbook you can see here this is getting executed but if you see the condition here it is p equal to 0 and because of that condition this has triggered this file and within the file it has changed the variable but that is not affecting include task you can see here it is executing the complete task now same logic we'll try in import task i'll comment this try running the playbook here if you notice it is trying to skip the task if v is not matching it is executing only till here set fact for v after that the value of v has changed so it is not running the task if i comment this or if i try to set the value to zero then it will run all the task so in case of import the when condition is getting applied to all the child tasks now we'll see how to use loop i'll uncomment this we can remove the when condition here i'll use loop and we can add three elements here this is just for iteration we can give any name a1 a2 save it and we'll try running now if you notice this this will be executing three times so the first task is set fact v and then generate command for user creation then it is printing the v so this will be running three times and let us try applying loop in the import save it so here we will be getting an error saying that you cannot use loop on import task you should use include task instead so loop is not supported in import task so in this video we have seen how tasks are getting executed dynamically then how variables are getting passed using wars and getting highest precedence and how to run the loop within include was and how to use a win condition here variables were having not higher precedence when we pass it within import task in the next video we will try to understand all these differences i hope this video was helpful for you to understand 
the key differences between include and import.